Hi everybody, welcome to the Renaissance Builder. Today we're going to talk about measuring voltage. All right, so today's video will not be a long one because I'm not going in depth into how to measure voltage. What I really want to do is just talk generically about the tools we use to measure voltage. Um, and I'm saying voltage specifically. This is actually called a DMM, a digital multimeter. It can measure more than voltage. Uh, but that's not the subject I'm actually on. So I was using my homemade, uh, well, let me, I guess my kit built uh, digital oscilloscope. I already can't talk. Digital oscilloscope. <laughs> Anyhow, I was using this the other day and I noticed that it seemed like the signal was drifting off of zero. Uh, so I'm like, well, there's really no way to calibrate this. And it's one of the biggest disadvantages to cheap oscilloscopes is their reliability is greatly to be desired. Uh, I, I believe when I built this thing, I mentioned in the video that you, you really, you don't buy this because you want to take accurate voltage readings. You, you buy something like this because you want to see the waveform pattern. Uh, it doesn't need to be an accurate voltage reading. It just needs to show you a picture of what the voltage is doing, uh, such as like a wheel speed sensor on a car. Wheel speed sensors are magnetic pickup reluctor wheels. Uh, so they, when you spin the wheel, they actually send a sine wave, a sinusoidal waveform pattern. And with an oscilloscope, you can watch that pattern and you can actually pick up and detect whether the reluctor ring is dirty or cracked based on the waveform pattern that you're looking at uh, because you can see the same thing that the computer sees. So that's what they do. Anyway, this thing was, uh, so the trace is not, it, it's off. Uh, so I figured what I would do is I would take it against some of my other significantly better oscilloscopes um, and compare voltages to see like, is this thing inaccurate or is the trace just off? So that's what I'm doing here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my oscilloscope here and I'm going to read the voltage that I'm getting off of this. In fact, I'll use my digital multimeter too, just because. My voltmeter on this power supply is way off. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using my, my Snap-on Veris oscilloscope feature because this, this scope actually feeds me a lot more information than even my Tektronix does, um, which is kind of impressive. But then again, when you buy these things new, they're like $10,000, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I did just confirm that the... <laughs> the... <laughs> The voltmeter on this here ancient power supply is way off, but it also proves that Noctua fans that I've had plugged into it for a while can handle way more than 12 volts. That was 16 volts, and I thought it was on medium. All right, so I've managed to set up 8.14 volts on the power supply. Now I'm going to turn this one on and see what it reads. And that says five volts. Oh, that is way off. That's almost three volts off, which is terrible. And now I'm sad because whilst I don't, I don't count on this being accurate at the same time, that's just sad. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so pardon the close-up of my ugly mug, uh, but I wanna show you what I'm talking about here on this, on this bench. So this here ancient power supply, don't bother with that meter, it's way off. Okay, so if you look up here at the snap-on, there we go, you can kinda see 8.18 volts right now. You can see the waveform up here it's uh, nice and steady, sort of. All right, so the fluke right over here 
reading 8.18 volts DC. Here we have the positive connection and the negative connection. And this is focus. Okay, so this, what I really want to show you here is, let me get something to point with. So, <clears throat> this reading right here is relative to this point. So see how this point's highlighted in blue? If I push this button, then that highlight changes to up here, which is a, a, a field measurement. Now I changed my center right there. Uh, now it's on the time. And we're gonna cease to focus again, apparently. All right, I'm gonna move that uh, blue check back over, see how it's over to there. Now this reading right here is relative to this point. So now I'm gonna push these points and you can see that reading change. So what you can do here is you can read this. Oh God, this focus is so terrible. You can read this line, the voltage on this line, using this point relative to that measurement. So that's what that is, all right? Now watch what happens. Uh, let, me, let me clarify again. This point over here, that's zero. So that's supposed to be the zero line. And this is a measurement point. And this is our trace. So if I take the power, if I take the read off, so that I have, I just disconnected the, uh, the lead. You can see here that my trace, so my trace here has gone down below the zero here. And I'm willing to bet, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change this uh, voltage reading. So we're about three volts off. So I'm gonna change uh, the voltage output until I get this up to zero, I bet it's gonna be around three volts. So you can see up here, it says zero volts. The point is measuring the trace right there, zero volts, lined up with the zero point. And we are currently 2.9 volts. There it is. That's pretty darn close to three volts. Like I said, pretty darn close. So that actually makes me kind of sad. I liked this meter, like this this here little pocket oscilloscope. I liked it. Um, I'm gonna have to see if there's some way I can calibrate it or something, because three volts off, that's pretty significant. Um, I guess I gotta take it out of my, out of my uh, inventory until I can see if I can get it fixed. That's a shame, kind of sad. So finding out that my oscilloscope here is, is no good just yet, hopefully I can calibrate it, but I'm not counting on it. Um, that's just unfortunate is what and, that is. Uh, so that's today's video, measuring voltage, checking this. So uh, hopefully uh, you paid attention and you learned a thing or two about reading traces and stuff on, on oscilloscopes, uh, again, Small multimeters work just fine. And um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell icon for future videos. I have a ton of content coming out. There are lots of projects in the books. Um, one of them, one of the very next uh, ones I'm gonna do is I got this here, Pocket Pro multimeter. This is supposed to be a multimeter. This is supposed to be a multimeter that uses your phone for the screen. There's no screen, this is it. That's the meter. So it's supposed to connect to your phone and well, for whatever it's worth. I'm gonna see what that's worth. We're gonna do a review on that and see if it's actually worth anything. Hopefully it's worth more than this. That still makes me sad. Anyhow, lots of content coming down the pipe. So make sure you hit that subscribe and bell icon 
And uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until uh, next time, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.